Well, it's time on our project house to start adding the insulation into the walls. And as you can see, the guys are hard at it right behind me. But it's not the typical insulation that you would see. This is actually cellulose that they're blowing into the wall cavities. Cellulose is a pulp product. It's actually a wood product. And this is 100% recycled newspaper and telephone books. So we're saving the environment while we're using it at the same time. A lot of people are worried about using cellulose because they're afraid it might catch on fire. But this actually has a fire retardant on it. So we don't have to worry about that fact. If the wall ever catches on fire, this will actually slow the fire instead of speeding the fire up. You can't see the guys are wearing dust masks. That's because it, it is not hazardous to your health, but it, there are a lot of little granules in the air. As a matter of fact, I'm already starting to taste some now standing as far back as I am. It's really a nice system. Now the way it holds in place is there's a hose coming up with water that actually activates an adhesive that's on this paper product, this cellulose product. It glues itself in place. The water dries out, but the glue is always there holding it up. So the insulation is not going to settle over time the way a lot of other types of insulation do. That insulation is always going to stay in the wall cavity all the way throughout. So you can see Juan's just going back and forth, blowing it in place. Then they come in with a roller, and they're going to smooth it out. It actually grinds it away. The reason you need to smooth it out is the drywall guys have got to come in and hang the drywall. And if it's sticking out, you're not going to get a good level wall. So we'll go ahead and run that down. And then tomorrow, the drywall guys are ready to come in and nail all the drywall in place. It's going to be super energy efficient. It's not going to catch on fire. We are going to get our true R factor. This wall is 2 by 6, which means we can go R19. R19 is a big number for a wall. A 2 by 4 wall, the maximum you can do is R13. We went with the 2 by 6 wall so we can get in more insulation, so we have lower utility bills every month. Blowing it in the way we are, we can go in any crook, cranny, any crevice in the wall. We can go in our T's in our corner. We can go around wires. And we're still going to have our full R19 insulation because we're not compressing it. We're keeping it expanded the way it should be. This is 100% recycled newspaper and telephone books. But once it's up, it's glued in place. Like I said, it is fire resistant. It's super energy efficient. And it's not going to settle over time. So the whole wall from floor to ceiling is going to remain energy efficient.